Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, normally, we start at 10 o'clock. Uh, we have 15 minutes before we start. Uh, before we do anything, we have a disclosure. Uh, please read it uh, before or stop the video and read it. Normally, we start uh, live every day at 10 o'clock, and uh, you're very welcome, everyone. Uh, we will, uh, I'll stay quiet for now, and um, uh, we will start uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, the reason I started early today, so if there is any uh, signals uh, from now till 10 o'clock, you can follow it. For the ones that never been here, there is a three different automated trading. Uh, we are sharing our uh, single, uh, our uh, signal uh, for free. And uh, we have outperformed many, many trading rooms uh, where they charge money. Uh, we are way far ahead from those normal trading rooms where they claim they made a hundred takes at the end of the day where you follow the trades all day long and you didn't even get near it. It is a very straightforward here what we do. You have a signal on the left upper corner here. You follow it, buy or sell. The direction, buy or sell. Your entry, your target, and how many ticks you made on that signal. And once the target hit, target hit like the ES. Very straightforward. There is nothing uh, that uh, is hidden. Uh, we are uh, clear on everything here and uh, you will find some days we make money and some days we don't you know some days we have a good days and uh, some days we don't have uh, like yesterday was a disaster the market analyzer and uh, the price action and uh, the chart the blue chart here is uh, one system based on the the price action the highs and the lows and uh, high time frame all those uh, indicators everything is a plot in a very simple matter uh, you have a, an entry and a target very straightforward and then uh, that system uh, have uh, a three different automated to trade an ATM, ATM strategy, or fully automated trade. Between the market analyzer and the chart, the market analyzer is direct entry and target and very clean cut, very straightforward. Uh, on the chart, sometimes we get a little more modification on extending the target or extending the entry. So you will find uh, the update tick by tick also. Forex and stocks is the same story as one minute. All the market analyzers, they are based on one minute, and we do that every day on the same time frame. We do not use ticks one day and a rank of bar one day and a line break another day. We are very consistent on one minute, and uh, we don't even uh, mix the one minute. We keep it. We don't even use the Hakanachi minute. We only use in straight minute. Even... There is a different time frame. We're better performance, but we are staying on one minute because if it works on one minute, it works on everything. And here is the scalper. Sometimes you see the scalpers are making a lot of money. Sometimes they are flat. Sometimes they are losing money. Sometimes they are making money. Or what I can say, welcome to trading. At the end here is your Ninja Trader, uh, your Ninja Trader uh, uh, controller, and those are using uh, just a normal uh, uh, swing trading, an automated trading, and it is a very straightforward, like uh, those trades now on the ES. Okay, we have a new signal on the gold, folks. New signal on the gold. You can see how this uh, signal work. And then you have the entry, uh, 008, target uh, 1204. And it says buy, you know, so you know the direction. 
And then uh, on the pullback re-entry, we have this number here. Uh, the uh, 12397. So this is the swing trading. This is the swing trading from uh, the controller. So you can see, uh, like right now on the controller, uh, there is uh, uh, the CL and the ES are really the winners uh, for today, which indicate for us uh, the ES and uh, uh, the ES and the CLs are doing very well. And that's true because um, we are already on the trade with the CL. I'll try to keep it here as well. Uh, if you notice on the CL, we are already hit the target. If you are on a fully automated trade, uh, then you're already uh, hit the target and uh, you are done. But I personally like, like to extend the target uh, for my own uh, first, I want to teach how you can uh, grab uh, bigger uh, trades, uh, not using uh, a dummy a trillion stuff. So this is what uh, we have right now, and uh, you are very welcome to it. Uh, and uh, it is at your own risk. We're not uh, we're not collecting uh, money, uh, neither your email or your name, and. Um, I like to show those traders that stand sitting on the side all day long and then come out at night with a couple of chart made it. Uh, and then uh, then uh, it will be very nice to show the traders uh, the reality of a trading. And, and uh, sometimes you get hard time even by the best professional traders. Um, and uh, there is nothing wrong with it by showing the traders when uh, when we have a good day and a bad day or when it is hard to trade. Uh, as an example, yesterday, uh, once uh, we were uh, done, uh, this is uh, the NASDAQ. I don't know where to put everything, but uh, this is the NASDAQ. Uh, as you see, uh, yesterday we had, we had a, a lot of, uh, sideway market and to, and uh, today and today uh, no matter what uh, uh, direction we are going uh, we are nailing it and uh, this is uh, part of the trading and uh, what you see what you get is exactly uh, uh, what you see what you get and um, Uh, did uh, we uh, we had some uh, uh, people send me an email that were uh, using a lot of money on 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 a room and uh, and they find out we are in a much better performance and we are very straightforward what we have and how we are taking those trades so um, you're very welcome to it that's all what I can say. And uh, what I like to show, I like to show that um, the trading is not a, just a, do, uh, a gold digging on a daily basis. Uh, everyone, if you've been around in this business long, long enough, you know uh, that uh, trading is hard and trading uh, requires a little knowledge. And uh, it doesn't come overnight, and there is no magic touch for it. So um, the aggravation sometimes among the traders blaming an auto trade or blaming uh, an indicator or uh, the reality is uh, a lot of the new traders over merge themselves. They don't have enough money and uh, less experience. They're not experienced, and uh, and uh, find they find out with the reality that uh, it's not as a piece of cake as they thought it is, and then they are taken out on on whatever system they are using. And some um, people they love to feed on that for marketing and getting money under the tables and uh, they know that some of the traders uh, they will struggle 
and uh, they take advantage of it to get money under the table uh, to give you a recommendation for which platform to use or which system to use. Uh, we've had a large amount, a lot, a lot of new traders came in from those websites where they were directed on a recommendation and they have lost their pension and now they're coming to us for help. So what I'm saying is to the public, try to find whatever you feel comfortable in which platform you need to use or whatever broker you feel good about. Uh, stay with the whatever you're feeling, your instant, whether it is our system or somebody else's system or uh, uh, any platform you, you like, you find consistency in it, you just stick with it, but do not let anyone direct you to any other direction because you're gonna you have to filter between marketing and and they they sell your your email for campaign and they direct you when a guy have a hundred uh, email from the traders he sells them off indirectly to different companies so uh, don't be naive with those areas here. It is all about money. Nobody open trading just for the heck of it. So it's one one kind of people. Uh, trading is, is, is meant for one type of people. Aggressive, they can be taking the chances and they do not settle with uh, just a normal job. It's just one slack, one kind of people they want more in their life. Here is the story. You cannot earn it by cheering your way in the trading. You cannot. You cannot earn it uh, this way. And uh, this is honest to God true. If you don't work for it, you're not going to earn it, buddy. You're just going to keep going in the circle. And those companies, they're going to keep directing you from one platform to another, from one system to another, until you run out of the money. And then they put water on your back and then they will find a new victim to feed on. One thing is once you start learning how to trade, nobody can take that away from you, whether you are in Montana or California or in Europe or, or any other country. Once you know how to trade, you earn your freedom. You don't know how to trade, you're gonna be slaved for campaigning and you're gonna be slaved to be sitting and waiting for direction there is nothing in this business free nothing nothing you know so reality sometimes is hard but i say it the way it is whoever respect my honesty appreciate it who do not i will see you in six months when you are broke. you know as simple as that and uh, this is what we said uh, when uh, we first came out many years ago to the public I said the different you guys cannot trade. You need to sell a system, and I'm I miss to be alone and just enjoy myself with my trading and get it over with. It is a very hard to uh, try to let those guys sometimes understand the tricks in the market, and a very simple is not for everyone. Very simple straightforward i think we i'm sitting and bubbling here there is a new signal on the es entry is uh, uh nine nine uh, we have a new signal is it okay there is a new signal here uh, uh is uh 29 target 37 and we are already in that trade so i don't know it seems like we are out of that trade on the ym so we are going to go ahead and uh, in it. Yes, we are. Uh, I don't know where to put the ES. We are so limited with the YouTube. Uh, target hit on the YM is over. As you see today, it's the opposite from yesterday. And um, it's a bit tight on the, it's really too much stuff on this chart. I prefer cleaner. 
Uh, let me see what I what I can do. I will try to find uh, some cleaner charts so we can see the trades. Uh, guys, uh, today you need to keep your eye on the CL. There is a lot of movement on the CL. Uh, if we notice on the CL, uh, the YM target is hit is over for whoever is following the YM and have our system. Uh, the, the trade is over and uh, you need to exit it. You're not going to get anything anymore out of it. It's finished. It's done. Uh, but uh, I'm going to leave it to see. But the target is over, guys. You need to close that one here. Uh, on the CL, also, if you are using a fully automated trade, it is uh, the target hit. And, uh, and uh, there is not really not much to do anymore on it. That's why I have... Uh, I have extended the target, but actually that trade is finished. And uh, we can see the CL target hit. The targets are not fixed takes. Uh, the targets are uh, measured. So sometimes during the daytime, uh, when uh, we are trading, sometimes you're going to have a target is 15 or 20 takes. And then on the next signal, it could be 30 ticks or 40 ticks. Uh, it depends on the market movement, a high time frame, highs and lows, previous highs and lows. There is a lot of uh, math involved in it. What is the difference? Why I like the price action than uh, uh, what is the difference between the price action as if you want to talk about and an example for swing trading or scalping. On the price action, on the on the swing trading, if you have a trade and the market is moving, if this market moving, the swing trading is not going to be missing any trades. And it's going to be outperforming any trader as has been trading uh, for 20 years. That's not the issue here. But the problem is with the auto trades, some people don't want to talk about it because this one here is taking left and right, break even, whatever, and it is constantly trying to achieve the target. Now, like, let's say as an example yesterday, uh, the market was really not uh, not really a tradable and in, 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 in a civilized manner. Nevertheless, uh, we show yesterday how the market was jammed and it was no movement for a very long time. Then later on, start picking up. But I personally closed Ninja Trader yesterday. I didn't want to deal with the market after the market, after we are done with the YouTube, because there is no use to sit down and, and look at market, uh, the, the risk on it. Uh, it's going to be uh, eight out of 10 then it's not profitable. Uh, I was surprised. Uh, we have a gentleman called uh, Bob yesterday. I was, and he's a new guy, you know, and uh, uh, and he purchased the auto trade. And then uh, yesterday I came in to him and I can see uh, he nailed $1,700. I don't know how, what time he started, but I was very impressed by this guy, he is a very aggressive trader and he would not let the market put him on the side. That's very fine. But for me, uh, yesterday was not uh, something I want to dive into. Uh, I didn't want to deal with it. I have seen it so many times when, when the market is not moving, you should not sit down and scratch the wound in there. And especially if you are trading life, you should not be taking a risk unnecessarily risk uh, uh, whether you lose a hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars uh, even if you have a fifty thousand dollar account it doesn't feel good you know so i prefer to to stay on the side than uh, to to sit down and 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 play with the uh, high risk areas and yesterday uh, the market was extremely sideways and then um, and then it start taking off for no reason. I couldn't even connect uh, to the uh, trade and movement to the uh, why this market is going up or down. It was uh, 
on that time it was no news and and uh, i couldn't uh, accept uh, what i have what i'm looking at my eye all what i see it was a play in the market and a false movement so that i cannot be related to and um, so this is where you need to sit on the side not do anything uh, back to the trade and uh, doing those experience we have uh, experienced for the last many years that um, when a guy came into this business and it's not experienced enough it's not gonna get off anywhere no matter what you give him uh, very impatient very low money and experience and he dive in right through the pile of mud uh, trading and this is where those sharks start coming in at you you know when i take a bite of you whatever left out of you and start promoting and 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 want to direct you to different platforms and everything because they figure out within three months you will be out of that game again guys when you see the market is playing wrong do not keep trading and losing money when you see this is it's not you it's not you as a trader they keep telling you that uh, you did not follow the rules or there is no rules in this market and the market don't care about your rules my rules and anybody's rules the market is the market and the market is gonna do whatever the market is so there is no rules i don't set rules to this business i don't set rules to this market this trading is a very simple method you are putting your name uh, your money your life saving account on a poker table against somebody else and and the winner is gonna take him all very clear cut if you are if you're right you're gonna get paid if you're wrong you're gonna be whacked so trading is not simple and I, people telling me, quit scaring people. Yes, I, it's my job to scare you. It's my job to put you in a reality. I care less to sell or don't sell. We have a plenty enough people to keep us busy for the next 10 years. It's not here the issue. The issue, we are coming here, putting our neck on a YouTube, which we have pissed off a lot of people. Um, and uh, we piss off a lot of competition. We piss off a lot of people. They'd like to uh, do advertisement for different companies. They got paid for it. That's their job. But when we are putting it right there and putting our neck uh, online every single day, two hours every day, and we're trying to explain to you why sometimes this market is a tradable or when the market is not tradable because traders are not seeing that. Traders are seeing at the end of the day, they sit in the corner, at the end of the day, they come in out and they tell you, I made uh, $10,000 today. How? God knows how. So what I'm saying is here, what, what we are trying to do, uh, tell you when there is a new signal whatever you do with it is up to you but uh, what i'm trying to show you how hard it is when the market is sideways there is nobody is gonna make money you know i don't know what this guy did at the end of the day come out with those uh, numbers i have no clue if yesterday i closed my ninja trader at 12 o'clock uh, i completely closed it and went for the support so then I'll, I start looking at the market from the support when I'm logging into those guys' computers. I can see where's the ES, where's the NASDAQ and all this. But um, hopefully, um, we don't know how long we can uh, keep doing this, but uh, it is a total free education. And, and what we're trying to do here is trying to open your eye to see how hard it is even I have been over 25 years behind the screen. It is sometimes very hard for me too. So what I'm trying to say is not you the problem. The problem is uh, you don't know yet the rhythm in the market or you don't understand when there is a false play. And don't let anyone direct you. Try to find whatever system out there, whatever system. 
you feel comfortable with it and you feel yourself, your head, your brain can be connected to it. You know, it is easy on your head. Do it, you know, and, and, and you know, and uh, try to make the best out of it and do the training. Whether it's from us or somebody else, whatever your heart blend is fine with us, you know. Uh, so the target on the ES, this is enough bubbling. Uh, the, the target on the CL has already hit and uh, the YM has already hit. So you should be out of those trades uh, right now. Uh, we are waiting on the, uh, the NASDAQ we don't have. We already, we missed the contract. No, we missed uh, the target on the, I really don't like him squeezed like this. Uh, we missed, uh, we missed the target here by a few ticks. And probably this market is going back in uh, to retest this number here. Seven oh four. Um, I'm thinking, should I call that trade for you here at uh, 7612? But you, then you need to get out here. So this is more like a scalp, and I'm not going to call that trade for you. Uh, I'm going to sit on the side and try to find a decent trade. I usually do that. I give one or two trades every day. But um, if I don't find anything, I'm not going to give you anything. Uh, but... Um, We'll try our best uh, to uh, go through Fridays a bit safer. I want to highlight the re-entry, please. On the re-entry here on this column, you see, is a, a re-entry price. So as an example, if we look at the CL, you have the, the re-entry point is uh, 7091. Uh, 7091 is if you notice the CL dropped to the 7091. You see what is this yellow one? I don't know if you can see that on the YouTube because the quality is not that super quality. But you see how this um, um, the CL has hit the target and then getting back to the 7091 and then a re entry point. And this is the re entry, folks. The auto trade is going to give you the entry and the target is over. So the auto trade has already done his job here. The auto trade has already done his job on the YM. The auto trade missed a few ticks on the NASDAQ. Okay. But once the auto trade hit the target, does not mean. There we go. When, once does. When this auto trade hit the target, does mean you, you're not out of the game, folks. You're not. If you look at uh, uh, what I have been showing, you know, that's what uh, really what is nice about it when you are going live. You can always refer to the previous live videos. If you noticed on the last three months we've been going live, uh, eight out of 10, the market comes into those yellow line for a re-entry point. So what I'm trying to say, once you start getting the rhythm, I don't want you to, to learn the price action. God forbid, I don't want to go through that again. I've had enough of uh, teaching and, uh, and I didn't get anything out of it. But... Um, once the, the, the auto trade, once the auto trade hit the target, does not mean you're out of the game. Even if you're not a professional trader, we simplify that, that you can take another trade as a re-entry and, uh, and the risk rewards are amazing on those re-entry. You can go through all those videos and that's what is nice about uh, live trading uh, that, um, you can go through all the videos and you can see the chances of this market pullback re-entry. They are amazing, you know? So once you hit the target, that's mean you already have beef in your account. So you can risk one more trade on the pullback re-entry. 
sometimes it's gonna work sometimes it's not gonna work i'm not gonna say every single time you know but um eight out of ten is gonna work one time we had a guy last year and i'm so glad he's out of my hair uh, he took the zone the, the which everybody talking how how accurate they are and and that guy really drove me crazy every time the market was across in a line he was taking a picture he was sitting his job is just to take a picture when the market crossing a zone did not hold to send it to me and tell me look your system is no good because the market crossed your line so uh and i i'm so glad he was out of my hair every time the market did not hold one line he was sending me an email i didn't have even to look at the lines anymore I can hear the sound from the email then i know my 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 line didn't hold so that guy was really really it was one big fog out of my my head so um i'm not saying is every single time is gonna be pull back re-entry but it will be eight out of ten uh, and the risk reward on the pullback re-entry it will be a risk reward amazing uh, on it so once you get to know the rhythm on on the trade uh, how to use three four lines uh, then you should be very fine we don't want to teach you price action we don't want it to do that anymore but uh, we want you to uh, to to understand that just uh, the basic uh, on the on the trading you know do you remember guys when we said we have those institutional uh daily target and once they hit the target it's done nobody have them nobody have them except on a friday on the first two hours we will hit the second trade right there uh what i'm looking at uh here has nothing to do with the auto trade so do not uh, mis be misguided we have uh, a lot of people sitting waiting on us to to say one thing wrong so they can sit down and fly with it so uh, this is uh, i have covered a couple of months ago how to trade reversals and what i'm telling you right now has nothing to do with those auto trades it's just a manual uh because, because i like reversals you know so right now we are going out of the band today is a friday and you make your bet on that one that on the seven on 7194 uh out of the band double resistance target and today is a friday and put this one on your uh, chart on a sim please because I'm not uh, allowed to call a life trade for you. Only on a sim is 7197. This is your limitation today on the oil. You know, even our president said um, he wants the oil to be lower and today it is much higher. But uh, technically there is two options, but I don't want to uh, confuse you with it. There is one here, but I, this is a high risk. I'm not going to be calling this trade for you. This is a high risk. It's a bit early for that. But this one here, resistant out of the band, 71.96. That is going to make Happy Friday for you. That's for sure. But in the meantime, I will try to find uh, some trades for you guys. Uh, right now, we are hitting those targets, and uh, there is uh, not much to do. For the ones that are late on the ES, finally the ES start coming in. So it is a tradable right now. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. If you are not on an ES trade, do not, you know, take that, put a, a sell, a sell order at 2942, limited order, limited order. The reason is I'm saying that area here because there we go, there we go. I hope somebody took it. Because it was what is what is holding this uh, ES signal was this double support line, you know. And uh, and uh, finally, I hope somebody got this trade. We have a new signal on the Russell, is a sell, 
and uh, 17254 target 1720 we have a sell on on the new russell this is in the signals guys we're not uh, there is no hinky pinky here there is no uh, bullshit trades uh, it's the signals are on the market analyzer you're very welcome to follow it Okay, we have one trade on the CL with the swing trade in is 1,800. Jesus, what, which one is that? All the CL, you know, let me show you something. All the CL. When the market is moving, the market is moving. Let me show you. There is a new signal on the 6E. <laughs> Uh, entry 83.15, exit, buy uh, entry, and uh, target is uh, 84.55. You see on those uh, uh, normal auto trades, uh, if this market is moving, uh, the time frame is irrelevant, become irrelevant. Of course, it has to be text, not on one of those weird looking uh, chart called uh, line break, whatever the hell is that. Uh, if you notice the three minutes and the five minutes, almost the same numbers. If this market moving, uh, the swing trading is going to nail it better than you and I together and better than anyone in this room. Trust me. I cannot beat or out trade uh, the, the swing trading. It's much smarter than me. The problem is, it's not about the auto trade as much as uh, traders, my experience, I find out, cannot read the market when it's moving. Today, the market is moving and we are uh, covered with the winning trades all over the place. The same system, if you look at yesterday, you say, what a disaster, you know. So the same system we were using yesterday was not making money. And today, it was the first uh, five, 10 minutes in the trading was uh, doing very well. It did very well on the NASDAQ and all that. And then the market died. And then the market was not making any money. But right now, uh, the market is moving and we are covered. We are, we are covered all over the places with positive. Everywhere I'm looking at, we have positive. And yesterday, everywhere you're looking at, it was negative, you know. And that tells you that it's not about the system, folks. It's not, of course, you have to have a good system. I'm not saying all the systems are good. No, some of them are disaster. Uh, but uh, not every time you have a bad day is the system. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. So, um Sometimes it's going to be hard for any system. You see, this is the one I didn't want to call for you. That reversal. Because it's a high risk and I prefer to take it from up here. I told you there is two, but I didn't want to use it from here. The reason I'm not happy with it, this reversal, because we have a major support line on the CL is 71.43. So I don't want to call that reversal. It's too tight. And uh, some of you are not light-handed, light you know, with the mouth. So they cannot uh, recognize when there is a problem. So I didn't want to call this one. So that's why I'm staying on the 7196. And I will be keeping my eye on it. And I will let you know if it's tradable or not. Sure, you're very welcome. So right now... Um, Yesterday, as I remember uh, this lousy number, uh, yesterday, uh, around this time, we had only eight ticks in the plus and on the market analyzer. If you go back to the video yesterday, we had eight ticks on the total here, you know, and then later on start going 100 and 200 and 300 ticks. Uh, right now, we have based on the last entry signal, uh, 318 takes total amount based on one contract, 2,357. If you can find better system, you know, you just go ahead and enjoy yourself and go ahead and purchase it, you know, and then we'll see you in six months. Uh, for the ones I remember the last call I called, it was from the market analyzer, it was uh, the Russell. 
I think it was 10 minutes ago. I said, be careful, guys. I'm sorry. I don't pay attention all the time because I'm covering a lot of stuff. And whoever followed the Russell uh, got the 22 ticks. You know what? I know somebody. He's not even a member. Uh, I want to ask him if he got this. Uh, uh, Danielle, if, uh, if you... Danielle, uh, did you follow that last signal on the Russell? Uh, Skype me on the Skype, sir. I know this guy, Danielle, uh, is on the NASDAQ and uh, Russell. So, okay, don't seems like he's around. I thought he was around. Maybe he committed suicide. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on. Um, beautiful day. There is nothing to talk about. Now I want to check up my trades. So, Oh boy. Okay. Um, Uh, today is uh, Friday. I want to remind all our traders, if you have any problem with the link for Monday to our private um, traders, uh, on Monday we hold only for members. Um, uh, I wanted to, to uh, send me an email or Skype me for Monday, please. I want to cover, uh, I found a solution for those guys uh, that cannot read the market, uh, they cannot read the market. Very simple. I mean, how how you want me to explain that? They cannot read the market when they before they start any auto trades. So I came out with a solution and a setting for uh, the scalpers uh, to uh, be consistent. For those guys are totally amateur, you know. So. Uh, it is very important to our members to come in and uh, we can um, uh, we can um, uh, explain a few things on Monday and then it will be back again live on uh, YouTube uh, on um, Tuesday. Okay, so let's see what we have right now. Uh, the, um, the CL, okay, yeah, I uh, I promise you to keep my eye on the CL. Uh, wait, guys, wait till we get here, and then we're going to nail it reversal on the CL. The reversal on the CL, you have an auto trade for reversal, but uh, this one is a manual call. This is, again, a manual call. It's not something uh, with the what you see here, those here are automated trades, but this one here is a manual call. So, uh, on the ES trade, I hope, I hope a lot of traders followed us on this. You see, you see where the ES right now is struggling uh, because there is a projection and a double support. So if you are on that trade, folks, uh, you're uh, very welcome uh, to uh, to exit or if you want to get greedy, get greedy. 
Tony. <laughs> okay, I'm with you on the ES trade at 42.75. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and this is another one. Well, yesterday I was looking for you, Tony. I didn't see you. So I thought you jumped out of a window, you know. <laughs> this is another guy. You trade in all of the race? Okay. Five hundred thirty on the CL Nasdaq three hundred seventy-five. Russell, okay. Let me see how I'm gonna get it. Okay, good. That's good, Suresh. Very good. You have over a thousand in it. Let me see. Mm. Oh, okay, Tony. No, we just worry if you jumped out of a window yesterday and uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Suresh, you did CL 530, 375 NASDAQ, Russell. How much on the Russell? One contract. All of them on one contract. 295, 112 on the ES, and 25 on the YM. This is your best shot, 25 on the YM. Okay. Um... If you see what happened to the trades yesterday and today, it's like a day and night. Whoever followed us on the last entry on the ES, folks, <coughs> um, don't don't play with it. Just close it at this number right now here, nine thirty nine. It's over. Uh, it might gonna go one bar down, but it's not worth the risk. You made 350 on two contract or one contract, 100, uh, I don't know. So call it off and uh, don't get yourself in trouble. And, uh, you know, that will be enough for a nice dinner tonight, you know. So, you, you know, it's like you're sitting on a gambling table. You don't know if the next round is gonna be a good round or not. So, Always think you are sitting on the blackjack table or, you know. So, guys, um, don't be greedy. So, there we go. Like what I said, folks. Uh, I drag him down to give you education and all this. But uh, don't, don't follow me on the targets when I'm saying exit, exit. Also, for whoever is on the YM, exit, please. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Exit. Uh, the CL, let me give you the story on the CL. This is a very nice support on the CL. And if we want to reverse the market right now, it is really, this is right now, the CL did very well, okay? It did extremely well today. Whether we are looking at the one minute, this is the true trend when we are looking at the one minute and have a very nice uh, you know, spike in there. Here is where is the problem start coming in on the CL right now. Uh, is out of the band diversion 
And I, I spot the weakness 20 minutes ago. It's not a new on me. So, but I don't want it to call the trades from here or here. The reason is, folks, now we are getting into a lot of um, sideways in those area here. And I don't want it. And if we survive this area, we're coming to the mid band. I don't want to cover the mid band. It's a very tricky uh, to trade mid band. I love trading mid band, but I don't want to uh, complicate things. I want to keep it simple. Uh, I'm trying to avoid all the complication in, in the trade. Uh, not yet, anyway. Uh, and then we have a really struggling chops in here. So the only time is to get the cheek a little bit higher and then nail it. So right now we have uh, the 7196. Uh, this is a good potential. And now we have uh, got a new one is the 7228. Uh, so we'll keep our eye on it and I will call the reversal for you. But that now. We are diving in into pile of mud. Yeah, I mean this is this is not tradable, folks. This is not tradable for reversal. We use the Renko bar for only reversal. We do not spot a trend on a Renko bar. Not unless if you you will never make money trading with the trend on a Renko bar. That's for sure. Not in this lifetime. So we use the Renko bar just for a reversal, but. Uh, you see, I, I'm so glad I told you guys to exit those trades. It's finished. It's over. And now for the ES traders, you have a projection here at uh, 4150. And you have a resistance at 4175. It's going to drive you crazy. Plus come in this moving average in conjunction with this area. So now you're going to see weakness in here. And this is the whole story behind going live in front of you guys to telling you when when the when the market is fixing to get in trouble. And this is trouble right now. It's going to drive anyone crazy. It's going to drive you crazy. Uh, do not take any more trades on the ES right now. The only time we are taking a new trade on a new signal. Uh, now... Um, um, uh, look, you see, you see, folks. Now the ES got caught between projection resistance and a support and a projection. And uh, where this ES going? I tell you, where is this ES going? Take a coin out of your pocket and you just flip it in the air, and that that's it is your best choice. Where is this ES going right now? If you're asking me. I need to sit down and open many charts to uh, start analyzing this ES where it's going. And I don't feel like when I do this. Uh, this right now is not tradable. It is sitting on the side. And now it is uh, where traders start making mistake and do not protect their profit. So when we call that trade for you, we told you where to enter, when to exit, and leave that crap alone because it's going to whack you. You know, leave it alone. It's not tradable. Uh, also, the same story on the YM is no better. It's finished. It's over. It's done. The market spiked. You got money. You made money. Uh, there is a plenty of people send me an email. They are already over a thousand dollars based on one contract. So uh, let's have a nice Friday and don't ruin our day with it. Look, it's over. You see that? It's over. So uh, what you can do is taking them here and a closing it. And that's it. And this one here, we're about to exit out of that trade. Let it exit. And then we have only one thing in the pot uh, is uh, the CL. And you see, this is the CL. And it is really... Uh, Come in and start climbing to our area 7197. This is where we want the cheek way high so we can hit it hard on that one here. So we will see how we 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 can uh, manage it when once it gets here. Uh, so 
we are already predicting ahead of time where we need to take a trade. This is what is nice about it. Uh, NASDAQ story, NASDAQ ES, all of the trade right now, there is nothing. Uh, the market spiked, uh, made money, and whoever made money, made money. Whoever did not make money, good luck making money right now. You're not going to be able to make money. Not right now. We need to get to new areas. We need to have uh, new numbers. Uh, those areas here now, they're done, cooked way overcooked it's finished cl let's see what uh, uncle cl gonna bring us folks i'm gonna go for a, a fresh uh, coffee and um, if you have any question you're very welcome uh, to it Tony, I forgot, are you a member or not? I've been talking to you but I uh, for a long time, but I don't I, I don't remember if you're you are a member or not. I think I'm getting old. Okay, guys, uh five minutes break and uh <laughs> look at the CL. Um we are coming to a resistance level at 71.84. Forget it, guys. Don't. We we want the cheek all the way up seventy one ninety seven. Uh, we're we're not missing anything on the CL. There is a lot of chops below those areas, so it has to be something to fill up our stomach for today is Friday. So this is a disaster right now, and it's a chop on the CL. So do not reverse the CL. If you are on that trade, you need to start thinking about closing that CL. It's finishes over. You might you might be able to drag it all the way to the 7198. We will see. Uh, one thing right now, if you want me, uh, my opinion on it. My opinion is there is a straight. The true moving average coming in conjunction with the double support area, which does mean that CL is going to hold. And probably is going to be testing the 72 level here. So if you are, are we out, out of on that trade? No, we're still on that trade. So you see, folks, what we said about uh, the ES. Look at this ES. Now you see this uh, way. That's what happened to most of the amateur trading when they are auto trading. This is where they start losing money. They don't see it. Simply is that they don't see it. They this is where they start diving into a lot of problems. They don't see it. And um, if we look at the scalpers, whether it's 150 ticks or one minute, now if the ES start taking a trade, it's gonna be diving into a lot of losses. You know, so this is also very important to know when you need to to stop trading or this is actually the problem 90 percent about automated trading they don't know when to stop when to start uh, uh you know or some of them they send me an email sam do you think i should start uh, your my es 10 o'clock or 9 30 how would i know if it's nine o'clock or 9 15. i don't have a crystal ball i don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or monday uh, the the market is gonna move or not i don't know when the market gonna get stuck in a channel like the es right now i have no clue nobody have a crystal ball so i i cannot tell you if tomorrow the dex gonna make money or the es or we're gonna be on monday a uh, total disaster like what happened yesterday i have no clue if i know i would have been a very rich man you know so we have to take the market as is every single day. You cannot just plan it. You cannot plan it. When you come in in the morning, you have to be a very neutral guy, not thinking about long, not thinking about short. Try to observe what's going on in this market before you start deciding what to do. Uh, we have plenty tools here, whether you want to scalp, trade in, manual trade in, price action, signals, 
uh, scalping, swing trading, uh, the reversal trading. I mean, we have a huge programs. But uh, first, you need to look at this market to see what kind of tools you need to pull out for today. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of problems. You know. So, uh, guys, again, I'm sorry. I'm going to go for a fill up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, let's see what we have. We are waiting on a, a new signal. If it's any of the members uh, have a question about the trading right now, not about uh, 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 anything else uh, chatting, but uh, if you have uh, anything about what we're looking at right now, uh, any members, uh, Skype me, chat with me. And uh, okay, <clears throat> let's look at those uh, swing trading uh, on the CL.
We have one trade on the NASDAQ on the three minutes. This is a nice trade. It's not closed yet. One, two. This is beautiful trade. If you notice, this is a pullback re-entry. And a pullback re-entry. We spot it. And this is nice. So when uh, the market is moving, guys, this is uh, your best option with the swing trading. But I personally like uh, the, the price action because you learn uh, on, when you are trading, you learn a lot. With, with this system here, you learn a lot. I mean, I don't want, to, want you to learn uh, price action and sit one year trying to learn. It takes you maybe a couple of three weeks to learn those uh, lines. Uh, but then, uh, you know, you can you can call it a career. But you cannot just build a career on uh, just automated trade. Because, I mean, not every day the market is going to be smooth. Especially if you don't know how to read the market before you start your auto trade. You cannot call yourself a trader or a career trader or, you know, changing jobs. If you want to change the jobs, you need to start learning this one here. There is no way out, folks. There is no way out. An auto trade, uh, we have 13 auto trades on Ninja Trader 7. We have, I don't know, seven, eight auto trades on, uh, uh, on Ninja Trader 8. It's not about weakness. Uh, we have plenty auto trade. But we hear a lot about guys that want to change jobs and make a career. You can make a career by earning it and, and learn how to, to read the charts. You cannot call it, call it a career and just buy an auto trade. If you know what you're doing, that's very fine. You can turn on the auto trade and do the job for you. But you still have to look at the market to see if this market is tradable to not, to not today or not, you know, and, um, or today we need to stay away. This is the problem among the traders. They don't, they cannot see that. They just, they get up in the morning, they turn on Ninja Trader, they turn on the auto trade and they look at numbers, you know, and uh, you're gonna be looking at your numbers the rest of your life because one day you're gonna be making a lot of money and one day, when the market is not moving, you're not going to be making money. All the scam about getting rich, you're not going to get rich, folks. You're not going to get rich. You hear it a lot that uh, forty and fifty thousand dollar a year, uh, a month, and you're not going to see that. Not in this lifetime. Uh, the reality is, uh, as is, if you wanted to auto trade, auto trade, and whatever the outcome is, the outcome, and it's over. If the market moving today, you're going to be making tons of money and the market is not moving, you need a diapers. Very simple. Uh, but on this one here, the reason I'm trying to push this one here, because you can see uh, where is this market going, when the market needs to be traded and when the market we need to take our hands off. If, you, if you're not able to do that, Maybe somebody else is going to tell you, oh, don't, this is uh, nothing, you know, it's, uh, and uh, I have an auto trade can make you 50 and a hundred thousand dollars a year, you know, a month. Yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, there is no way uh, an auto trade is going to be making money every single day. There is no way, you know, which we have seen on those uh, YouTube. Uh, every single day we have the scalpers, sometimes they are all in the green and sometimes they are all in red. Today the market is good, we can, uh, I'm expecting to get up to three, four, five thousand today on those. Yesterday they were, uh, uh, they were uh, in red like a Christmas tree. So there is nothing called, 
you know, uh, I mean, silver bullet uh, every day. There is nothing in this business called silver bullet where you're going to be green every mm -hmm. single day. And uh, those uh, marketers, uh, they know that and they feed on that, you know. This is where they make their money and they start uh, giving you recommendation. Oh, we have a new signal on the uh, CL. Amazing. We have a new signal on the CL. Okay. Uh, this is very nice. Uh, where is, okay, here it is a new signal on the uh, CL. Uh, the entry is 71.26, target is 70.84. Beautiful. I didn't see see it. Uh, you see, I was still in bubbling here, although. So it's going directly to the. Uh, uh, so this is really nice. Okay, your target. You're coming to the target. I'm going to take this one is for over and then we're going to still crowd it. This is a very nice trade. Very nice. Beautiful. I love the way this entry on the CL because it's right below this line. It's beautiful trade. That's what is nice about auto trades that they can take the motions away and us managing the auto trade is the best way. Uh, let the auto trade take the entry and you manage the trade. Uh, you combine the math and knowledge, then you can call yourself a trader. Beautiful entry, a beautiful target, wild open. We have a little problem on the 7095. We'll see how um, it's going to do on that. Any new? Right now we have uh, 288 takes based on the last entry signal. And uh, we are, um, the only one we are struggling with is the DAX. That's fine. But this one here is doing very fine. You know, if you are on the auto trade, your target is right there, fine. But we're going to extend it a little bit to see. I'm expecting the CL gets to 70.45. So we'll see if the CL going to get there. 70.45. We'll see. Beautiful. If we cross this, uh, that line, uh, 7101, we are looking for a good potential for 7044. This is beautiful. Very nice. Uh, 
Uh, did you get in on that uh, trade, Tony? Uh, Nils. No. <laughs> Okay, you hit the target, folks. Uh, for because we cross this one here, if you are on that trade, uh, uh, you're gonna be all the way down to seventy forty five. Tony, are you are you member or non uh, not member? I forgot. I'm sorry, not trying to be impolite, but. Um, Okay, uh, so on that trade, uh, guys, 820, and uh, we call that trade for you, you know. We, the, the signal was there. I don't want to exit on those trades. I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, the CL expecting it to come down to 7042, so I don't want to exit on those trades. <laughs> okay, Tony. <laughs> well, uh, you know, you've been making money, a lot of money out of my back, and uh, I'm going to be start charging you percentage. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Tony. I'm really happy for you. Thank you, sir. Did you miss out on that trade? We called it here in this room. Probably now you are hitting yourself. Uh, don't let it uh, that uh, the <laughs> okay sir thank you um, uh, if you are on that trade uh, the target the auto trade the target is here and then you will be exit now if you notice there is a reversal but if you are on that trade do not exit on that trade you are at uh, 7116 okay stay with me then hold on uh uh exit at 742 please and um you know there is a reversal uh, you know and the auto trade would have taken that trade i'm not gonna and then exit on the target fine fair enough but god gave us a little head you know and uh, we are a little bit a human we like to get aggressive a little bit. I hate to close trade, a winning trade. I hate to close winning trade. And uh, that's why, uh, uh, yes. So uh, I try, I try to um, exit at 74.2 or 74.3. And then you owe me dinner. I eat a lot. Be careful. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not on the scalper, sir. This is on the swing trading. Uh, on the scalper, oh, brother, on the scalper. Uh, this is a swing trading, my friend. It's not the scalper. So let's see. There we go. 
exit at seven zero four. Let me see. Oh, that's here. Okay, you know what? We start getting risky. Let's see. Come on, come on. Give this guy. Okay, there we go, Tony. <laughs> now you have the money to purchase the software. <laughs> um, 7045. <laughs> you know, it is getting really tight. Let me show you. Uh, it is. It's, it got out of the band with a reversal, a big reversal, Tony, and then a diversion and a buy entry. And now we're coming to, uh, there we go, start getting really tight. Almost, almost, almost. We, we're going to get this uh, 43 level, hopefully. Do we have any other trade? There we go. Come to daddy. Yeah. Okay, we're missing a couple takes. 45. 45, my friend. Okay, we're gonna get you home, bro, buddy. Uh, we still we we still have a couple more ticks. Hang in there. Keep your hand on the mouth. Exit. Exit, my friend. Exit. You know, that's what makes me sad. Let me give you a gentleman. You know, this is what makes me happy. There is a gentleman here. He don't even have the system. And um, he made life real money, $1,000 in two days with us. And I'm going to show you. Here's a chat from the Skype. He's not even a member, and that's why I left this one here so you can see. He's saying, happy to pay. And he made over $1,000 in two days, which yesterday we didn't do well, you know. And then, uh, well, you owe me dinner, my friend. Sure. Come back and see us, Tony, when you have more money. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, find a new trade for you. Hold on, uh, guys, just a second. Um, okay. There is no trades right now. 
I don't see any trace, amigo. I don't see any trace. So we're fine. Target hit uh, on the CL, whoever follow that CL, you should be around 70 ticks on that trade. This is more than any room can provide you all day long. I hope everybody closed the uh, ES. Uh, right now, ES is not tradable for the ES traders. Uh, it's not tradable. Wait till the new signal. You start, you need to start learning when we can trade and when we cannot trade. Trading is not a buffet table. You keep, you know, you need to stay on the side. Don't let, don't let this uh, rubbish right now uh, piss you off. You made money on the CL. Everybody is exit on the CL. Be happy with it. Get it over with, you know. So, uh, what you see right now is nothing but noises. So, on the CL, everybody exit on those area here. Uh, what is it, around 70 takes? Mm -hmm. Each one made 70 ticks just on the CL today. And I don't know how many ticks we made on the, on the NASDAQ and ES. And also we had a signal on the uh, uh, Russell. The Russell right now made $400 based on one contract. NASDAQ 555 based on one contract. Uh, YM was much more and um, 120, much more also on the ES, but now because the ES pulled back, we were all the way down here. So we did very well today. So. This is another message. That's what makes me happy. Just arrived. Sam, seriously, thank you. I enjoy learning from you. I have to leave. Hopefully. Sure, no problem. That makes me happy when I know a trader, you know, this is what uh, amazed me. A uh, trader, uh, this guy don't have the system, nailed money. Another guy nailed money. And they don't even have the system. They just copy off uh, our channel. And, um, and some guys, they just having a problem moving forward. I cannot help it. Okay, guys, I'm going to stay quiet and uh, I will leave everything open. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, t I'm getting tired talking all the time for nothing. Um, Don't let it fool you. That CL. If you are, uh, if you took that trade and you're done for today, you're done. 
those right now on the, don't try to chase this market on the CL. If you followed us on the signal entry exit, fine. But uh, trust me, if you're going to get in into this one here, you're going to dive into pile of mud right there. This is a very fake movement. So don't, don't even look at it. Uh, everyone made at least 70 ticks on the CL. There is nothing to regret. There is nothing to worry about. You have not missed anything. And you should not be on a poker table all day long, guys. So it's done. It's over. And now the market is going to drive you banana. So protect your uh, profit and um, sit on the side, you know, and um, and let's try to see if we can uh, get a new trade somewhere. We have to learn when to uh, skip it and not to trade. Okay. Um, we're about to have a new signal, I guess, on uh, ES, NASDAQ, NYM. Let's see. Oh, there is already. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't see that on the YM. Uh, there is an entry on the YM. At uh, 6766, just took it, you know, and it's, it's, it's uh, getting trouble that way. Um, because uh, there is a double resistance right above the signal, and that's why it's struggling. Uh, I strongly advise to take it from that area here 6748. If it's any pullback, or if you want to take long wait till we cross it so put if you did not follow that uh, signal try to put um, uh, a limited order at uh, 771 on the ym or on the pullback you can put a limited order at uh, at uh, 6748 limited order 6748 uh, follow us on sim please Well, our president yesterday said uh, he likes to see the oil prices down. Seems like they responded. I don't know. Oh, that's good, David. David got the thousand dollar. Everybody within a thousand dollar range. That's very good, David. Suresh, what is your your total? You're done? Good, Suresh. What is your total today? 
Okay, 850 on the CL. Okay, one contract. Okay, that's good. Happy guys. Um, this one here, uh, exit also, Suresh, don't stay on the CL. It's finished. This is nothing, it's just fake movement. Between the target and here, there's only a couple bars. They're not even worth it. Uh, you know, and uh, let me see if we can find a reversal for you guys. Nope, no reversal. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, I keep getting myself in trouble to keep talking. So uh, we are about uh, to get uh, a new signals on on the ES. No, we are still long way for the ES to get a new signal. So, okay, guys, uh, there is no trade right now. So, and uh, what I see, the average is around thousand dollar today. So by those traders, um, so my numbers are and related to uh, different traders. Um, mine are different than you guys. I'm, I got double, but um, that's okay. I got the almost double, uh, but uh, if you made a thousand, hey, you know, very nice weekend. I'm gonna stay quiet for a while and uh, uh, if I see anything ES, I really like to have every trader today walking away happy, whether a member or not. We all are human. Uh, so I will try my best, guys, for even non-members trying to find you something here. But at the moment, to just don't get yourself in trouble. I will be examining the ES NASDAQ and uh, see if we can find anything to get our hands on. Then I will call those trades for you.
a new signal on the NASDAQ for the ones on, I will just uh, disappear the signal, a new signal on the NASDAQ 7602 uh, target uh, 620, that's 20 ticks, that's not bad at all. Uh, here it is uh, on the, uh, the new signal on the, on the NASDAQ. You know, also like uh, the YM have a double resistance. You know, I mean, those $35 zone guys, I swear we're not making any money out of it. But those, if you don't have them, it's, it's really a problem. If you notice there is two, I have them in a the blue. Maybe I need to change the color so you can see them on YouTube. Uh, I don't like too much uh, lines on the, on the chart, but... Uh, uh, there is a problem at this uh, double resistance. If we can break those double resistance, then it's going to be a very nice breakout. So the problem is with the signal right now on the NASDAQ, we have a double resistance right there. It's holding that trade back. It's holding that trade back. So if you are not on that trade on the NASDAQ, uh, try to go a little bit above those lines here, those two. I don't know. I hope you can see them on the YouTube. Uh, try to put the limited order 771 by 771 uh, and that uh, because if this one gonna break it then it's gonna break it so this is where um, uh, if we are going to have a pullback uh, it's going we I will examine where is the pullback so we can enter the market based on the pullback so maybe that will help uh, some of the traders have a nice weekend uh, over um uh, the the weekend you see that's why i refuge to a clean chart uh, because i can read it much better for me uh if if we have any pullback then it will be the entry 9025 if you can very welcome follow me on the sim with that uh but uh, if there is a pullback it will be uh 9025 this is the entry point or if you want to have not followed the signal you can put a limited order buy at 771 so we have two options on the nasdaq and i will um, you are in the short one Okay, so let's keep our eye on this one here, the NASDAQ. One thing, uh, guys, uh, for the ones who have the system, uh, remember we still have the ES on the short, you know? And now if we look at uh, the ES from the technical point of view, not the auto trade, uh, the 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 ES still has not confirmed as long. You know, we're still in the short side on the ES. That um, that um, uh, that is gonna uh, cause a problem uh, uh, sometimes until we have uh, the ES going above those lines and then once the es into the long side uh, the nasdaq and the ym going to be uh, potentially to the upper side so we'll see how things work on on all of them
uh, your tax is out of date, Ben. Your tax is out of date. Uh, we are using uh, the tax, the 12-18 uh, contract, and you are using the 9. So that's the difference. You see the CL uh, did not do anything uh, once uh, went and hit the target. There is not much going on on the CL. And um, I'm going to keep my eye on the NASDAQ for you guys. Okay, the momentum on the NASDAQ has been changed and uh, we'll see, it's about to take off. So, <clears throat> it's fixing to get up. There we go. We just, uh, we are uh, 10 ticks away from uh, the entry on the NASDAQ. We'll see what happened. It is an amazing Friday today. It was very good, very happy for all the results. Let's see what else we have.
the market is a bit dying on us a little bit, but we are going in the right direction. So don't let it uh, get you. The NASDAQ is gonna go up. Was really holding the YM and the NASDAQ is uh, the ES because it's still technically short. The ES and the and uh, the NASDAQ wanna get up. And um, so it's a matter of time before we start having a new signals on the ES and a new signal on the uh, Russell. The Russell did well today. There we go. We're about to to have a lift off. Don't forget we have a YM because those double support line. If you want to get in on the YM trade, go at uh, limited order. Limited order at uh, seven six nine on the YM. One minute. We're not allowed to call live trade for you guys, so be on sim, please. But you can uh, put uh, 770 or 769 long because this double uh, resistance line, we need to see that if we are able to exit from those first. And um, this way, when we have a breakout, then they can lift you with this. So try to not to go in the market here. Try to go on the 769 as an entry, please. Limited. NASDAQ is start going down. Okay. Uh, this is the entry for the NASDAQ. This one has nothing to do with uh, the auto trade. Uh, this one, a manual, has nothing to do with the auto trade. This one is a manual. Uh, an entry at uh, 89.75, a manual trade. This is nothing to do with any auto trade. Eighty nine seventy five limited order buy. So one contract is not going to hurt one contract. So anybody can afford one contract. Okay, the YM start uh, breaking those levels. Uh, this one, uh, the the signal was um, quite time ago. 
So you can enter the market at uh, limited order buy at 69 level or 70 level, you can enter the YM. Um, I hope everybody got this one here on the NASDAQ. And if you're not gonna go down on NASDAQ, I will give you another entry uh, on the NASDAQ as well. I'm calling those uh, manual trades because those signal on the YM was, um, I don't know, you can rewind the video maybe around 10 minutes ago, I don't know. But those, the auto trade took that trade and uh, so we have a lift off on the YM. And then uh, keep your eye closed on the on the seven seven five. Keep your eye on the seven seven five, please. And the Nasdaq is fixing to break out, so uh, we will uh, enter the Nasdaq limited order buy at uh, six o four limited order, manual, not uh, automated. So this one is left off. And now the ES is fixing to give us a new signal. Be careful with the ES is giving you a new signal very soon. So closing okay and now we're about to have a new signal on the ES once we get the new signal on the ES those two they're gonna fly NASDAQ and uh, so right now you can go on the NASDAQ 603 limited order buy so uh, please follow us on the sim and uh, we're not allowed to call live trade for you. And um, that's exactly what I told you on the YM, but don't worry if uh, this ES fixing to give us a new signal, we have a good potential for another round on all of them. So we, we keep you posted. Now, this is the hardest part right now on the NASDAQ and uh, Dow Jones. Uh, all the eyes are on the ES to see if we are able to break this area here, then we are home free on this trade. So be careful with this one here, please. There we go. We're about to have another round, uh, guys, with on the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones. We are just about to have a new round. You see how nice it is when we sit on the side and waiting. And there we go. We're about to have a new signal on the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones. Now everything start working again and making money. There we go. Lift off. Yes. Now we're about to have a new signal on the ES. There we go. A lift off. This is beautiful once you know your limitation in the trade. And 
We need to break that area on the ES and then you're gonna see major breakout. Loma, I hope uh, you are on one of those. We're just waiting on the ES to break that area here. Once we break that area, there is no stopping. It's a Friday today and it's 12 o'clock, almost 12. And uh, we have a lift off on the YM and we're about to have it on the, as well, the NASDAQ. We're just waiting on this Uncle ES to break that area, 43.75. Once we cross that uh, 73, uh, 4375, we're going to have some, a lot of bananas here. Okay, let's see. That ES fell as on this uh, area, uh, the 43. 50 level couldn't break it but uh, we'll see it's pulling back the es most likely we're going to be retesting the 4375 one more time and that is going to ignite your nasdaq and down zones the minute we can see a new signal coming up on the uh, on the es Okay, Luma, where 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 are you uh, on uh, which um, are you on Nasdaq or uh, ES or where are you? Uh, YM. We just looking at this one here. Uh, we want to make sure that. The ES able to break those area. Once we have this one, uh, Nasdaq, okay. Okay, super. So um, this one is climbing, no problem. The Nasdaq is uh, just holding a little bit back, it's coming back, the Nasdaq. The problem is fell is the YM. Always uh, try to look at the, the ES because the ES is the best uh, signal, the best indicator uh, to identify the market. Nevertheless, still is 500 ES, is 500 company in there. So uh, now we can see uh, Loma that um, uh, the ES is trying to go back and uh, retest the 4350. If we are able to break it, that's mean we have a major breakout on all uh, ES, NASDAQ and Dow Jones. If uh, this market, the ES gonna fail, that is gonna cause a lot of a chop market uh, during the lunch hours. So now the eyes is not on the NASDAQ and YM anymore. Uh, the I is on the ES, if we are able to break uh, the 43.75. So you gotta be careful with it. Um, even if the NASDAQ sometimes goes off by itself, which you hear a lot of NASDAQ trader, maybe they have a different thought with all the respect to their, their own opinion and I have my own opinion. Uh, the NASDAQ sometimes it goes by itself, very fine. But when the EAS has to break major areas, the NASDAQ stops. So right now the eye on the ES is no longer, you should be looking at the indicators uh, from the NASDAQ and the down zones because they become irrelevant. Right now what we need to keep our eye on uh, the ES you know, to see this one here now is a key to the whole market on the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. So um, we'll see the outcome. And you can see right now, Loma, uh, that 
we are climbing to those numbers again uh, to uh, to confirm. And if it's, uh, we don't have confirmation, uh, that is gonna take your, uh, because you are on a trade on the uh, NASDAQ and Dow Jones. And I will guide you uh, with those two. You see, you see how, and if this one break, those they're gonna fly. If this one is not gonna break, we're gonna close position, okay? So stay with me and I will be more than glad to guide you on those. If we are breaking uh, uh, the uh, the 67.89, this is the true average price on the YM. It's going to go immediately to the target. So, you see where it stopped? Uh, are you live or sim, Roman? Okay, great. I'm going to stay with you. You have uh, both of them live, uh, one contract each. Or two each, or how many contracts? <laughs> we are about to have a lift off. Be patient. look like the ES is crippled, but uh, that's okay because of the time in 11.57. So, it looks like a handicapped instrument right now. Um, hang in there, my lady. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're about to have a new signal on the ES. What the hell happened to the ES? It's 12 o'clock. Okay. Patient. Seven 
Stay with me, uh, Loba. You see, uh, we will be, look, look at the NASDAQ, what it's doing right now. It's sitting on a neutral. The I is on the ES. So we will uh, be. You see what is this ES? It is very important to to confirm because we have the NASDAQ long and the YM long, uh, the 30 year treasury bond sell, that's very good. We are waiting on uh, Uncle ES here to, to break those area. If it does not, close. Well, that's good. So we, the eye is on the 4350 level. <laughs> And then if, if we are breaking this area today, you know, those, uh, they're going to give another thousand dollar round like what we've done earlier today. This is beautiful. The most important um, things, guys, what we have seen is there is time where to trade and time to sit on the side. That's why a guy keep just looking at auto trade itself and looking at number. He don't know what's happened today in the market. But there is a period during the daytime where uh, you need to stay off the trading. And when you need to start trading, you know, and uh, that's what we've done today and every other days. So there we go. This is the key for the market now, the 4350. You see, you see how this uh, ES is flirting with uh, that number. So sometimes we cannot just dig our head to a NASDAQ chart or a YM chart. If you, okay, there we go. You see, 12 o'clock, 12 or 10, 10, so all bets is off. Not unless if you wanted to stay, you can stay on those trades. But uh, this is the second time uh, the, the ES fell and, um, and uh, probably it's gonna be later on break those area i don't know what is going to happen 10 minutes from now but this one here it came in yeah i mean this is really efficient look now we start losing momentum all bets are off loma all bets are off not there is two one option you can do guys one option you can do on cases like this on cases like this uh, for me, I do that a lot. I hate closing a trade. If you notice here on the YM, uh, this is another option, and there is a good potential on this one, Loma, that you put it a plus one or two ticks above your buying um, entry. So that's mean uh, you are on a free ride. Is this trade is not costing me any money? Why I need uh, to close it and then uh, leave it uh, because uh, there is a good potential that uh, this market is about to break or uh, could come back and knock me out. But most of the time, I'm away, way far from the uh, the numbers. So most of the time, I will not be put out of that trade. You know so. This is a call for trader to evaluate uh, things. And um, also, if we, if you need a second opinion, we can have a second opinion from the scalpers. Also, you can look at your scalper that uh, we have uh, a buy entry on the YM uh, 
and it still has not closed. So this is, is telling you if you wanted to, for a trader, don't know if he needs to close a trade or not. He can always look to see what the scalpers are doing, uh, buying or selling, exiting, just as a second opinion. What we are trying to do, we don't want to put you in the room, uh, teach you price action for one year. It's not going to work. But uh, we are trying to get you up and going within a couple of three weeks because everything is on the chart. We just want to teach how to manage uh, those trades. So let's see how, if this EI is going to able uh, to break this one here. I'll be surprised if it does. But uh, again, we are looking very close at the 43.50. This is a really key on the ES right now. 43.50 is the key on the ES. If we're not breaking it, we have a problem. Let's see. So, uh, you know, I heard uh, somebody saying uh, last week, uh, I don't trade the ES. That's his right. You should not, if you don't feel like trading the ES, don't trade the ES. But uh, you cannot ignore by not looking at it, you know, because if you are trading the NASDAQ, you're not looking at the ES. One of the puzzles are missing. Folks, uh, is a uh, 12.06. Uh, it's been really, really I'm very happy to everyone. Everyone today made money. Um, we don't count uh, takes because maybe some traders made a thousand, but the average is around a thousand today by the messages I'm getting. And um, but it's irrelevant. It's a, it's a free room for everyone. We open our heart to come and uh, we'll give a little help. And uh, thank you for all those guys. Non-members are following us, and they are amazing. And uh, they made, they've been following us, and they they are very happy campers with us. Thank you very much for all the comments. And um, uh, Monday, uh, it will be for private members only on a webinar, not on a YouTube. If you don't have the link, and you are a member, shoot me an email or on the Skype, and I'll send you the link. And then we'll continue on Tuesday uh, on um, uh, on a YouTube live every day from 10 Eastern time to 12, whatever it takes us. Right now we have, uh, based on the last entry, we have uh, almost 200 ticks from the last entry signal. Um, we are very clear uh, on everything here, uh, you know. Uh, we showed you the good trades and the bad trades, and um, we showed you some um, good days and a bad days, uh, struggling days. We have nothing to hide. And uh, we got to meet a lot of uh, new people and uh, nice people. Um, uh, I want to say really from the bottom of my heart, uh, what I'm really happy today because uh, our traders are walking away, going into weekend, everybody uh, have money in their pocket, and that made me happy. Seriously, members or non-members, uh, that made me happy when I see people are happy. Where is all this noise is coming from? Okay, there's that. Okay, look. All right. Okay, there we go again. Let's see. I'm going to stay a little bit. I'm curious about this. I'm starving when I go eat lunch, but um, uh, I want to see if this one going to nail it or not. I don't know how to do all this. There we go. Has not crossed it, Luma. Has not. <laughs> Has not. <laughs> You know, no matter what you do to this market, always get under your skin. No matter what you do. Look. You think you get your corners right, and then look. <laughs> this is amazing. 
No matter what you do, this market can get under your skin, guys. No matter what you do. You just have to grow with patience. Look, it fell again. So that's mean. Okay, there is a lot of buyers on the NASDAQ anyway. You see how they work? Uh, you see how they work in sequence? You see? There we go. We have a new signal, so let's share this uh, new signal to the new guys. And uh, I'm going to stay. That's not nice to leave on a new signal. I'm going to stay to call the last signal. And you're very welcome to follow us on a sim with it. But uh, let me give those guys something to chew on after lunch. We have not got a new signal. We're about to have a new signal, guys. There we go. Come on. There we go. New signal, guys. And a new signal on the CL as well. A new signal on the ES. Entry price at 9.44, and then exit is 47.75. Actually, it's not much, but better than nothing. And um, we have a new signal, a buy signal, 7.1, no, 7.072, and 71.20. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. That's a lot of takes. So this is your uh, new signal. And let me let me explain to you guys before I leave what you're going to bump into in EAS. Um, and let me set a visual target for you. Uh, you will have a little bumper on the 44.25. I know the target uh, is 47.75, but you got to be light-handed with it and try to keep your eye on the 47 level. So try to mark your trade on a 47 level. And then if you see a strong trend, then exit at the target 47.75. But uh, keep your hands uh, or get ready uh, to exit this trade around 47 level on the ES. And let me see. Uh, for the NASDAQ traders, you're going to have a little bumper at 76.12. You have a double resistance. It's going to be a hell of a right breaking those. Once we break those, we are in the clearance all the way to 31, actually. And uh, actually, the YM look at the best. Okay, let me see. Most likely on the YM, you will be getting the 821 target. And whoever got to follow that uh, latest on the CL, uh, you had an entry 70, 72, target 71, 19, and you are already eight ticks into the puzzle. Uh, let me look at the CL, uh, trying to uh, give you enough to cover you when I'm out of here uh, for the ones that don't have our system uh, you follow that CL you're very welcome to it this is 14 takes uh, watch out the 70 98 70 98 once we break 7107 final destination 7152 so please try to mark it on your 
uh, on your mm -hmm. chart. And I'm so happy that uh, we got two new signal here. And uh, now you are 16 ticks into the CL trade. And um, that's not nice. I'm going to stay a little bit with you guys on the CL. Three hundred eighty bucks on the CL based on the last minute signal. This is not bad at all, and uh, this is exactly where you need to be careful with your trade. You see, so uh, keep. You see, this is where, if we are able to break the seven seventy one zero seven, we have a clearance all the way. It seems like it's gonna do it, guys. Uh, 71.52, that will be very nice. The EI is dying on us, okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me see. Uh, also, YM. And I just want to keep, stay with those guys on that level here. If we are able to break the 707, 71, you're already 25 ticks on that trade. This is today we made over, if you go back to the video, we made over 100 takes on the CL today alone. You see where is this uh, CL is struggling right there. You know, and um, once we break this, you see, once we break the seven, uh, the 7107, you should have a very nice clearance all the way to the 71.52. If you don't want to exit on the target, you can extend it, extend your target to uh, 7.51. Okay. Folks, I'm so happy everybody got it. And now. Uh, Wish you very, very nice weekend. Uh, everybody made it today. I'm so glad. And uh, we'll see you on the YouTube on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Uh, God bless you all. And uh, see you another uh, next week, 10 o'clock Eastern time. God bless you all. Bye.